This cotton plot was never sprayed for white flies, and it is unsprayed for leg shoe. Other plots were also never sprayed for white flies, but were treated with carbine for leg control, and they appear similar to this plot. No broad spectrum sprays were made in this plot. Natural enemies are left, therefore, to control white flies. These cotton leaves are healthy, not covered in honeydew or sooty mold. This plot is extremely clean, which is representative of the modest Wi-Fi levels present in central Arizona at the time of the filming. Wi-Fi numbers are well below threshold, and the beneficials found in the cotton system are able to maintain biological control of the Wi-Flies. This allows us to defer a spray and potentially eliminate a future spray as long as biological control continues to function. In this plot, you can clearly see the increased number of white flies adults. This cotton has been treated multiple times with the broad spectrum acephate. As you are aware, broad spectrums are non-selective and will kill your beneficials. Our goal was to eliminate as many of the predators as possible. This shows the result, where a high number of white flies excrete honeydew that coats the leaves. A full rate of Sivanto was applied here. Sivanto is working, which is apparent by the dead adults sticking to the honeydew covered leaves. Even with a spray meant to selectively target the white flies, Without the control provided by natural enemies, it is very difficult to successfully manage this pest with any insecticide. It is therefore important not to become overly reliant on organophosphates, pyrethroids, or other broad spectrum insecticides. Using predator thresholds instead of just the traditional pest centric thresholds, you would have known this plot was in trouble and would have applied a selective insecticide even sooner. A side by side comparison of the two treatments shows a drastic difference in white fly densities. These plots are only 10 feet apart but tell completely different stories. Notice the number of adults present in the cotton on the right, compared to that on the left of the screen. Copious honeydew in the cotton on the right indicates large number of white fly nymphs. Where a disruption with a broad spectrum was made, a white fly spray was required two weeks prior to filming. Even with this white fly spray, the white flies in the broad spectrum plot are well above threshold and have since had an additional application. When the beneficials are allowed to thrive and do their job of weeding white flies in other pastures, the white flies can oftentimes be managed with very little insecticide use. These two plots show the importance of having natural enemies in our fields. Knowing when to time a spray is key to use chemical controls properly and economically. In order to make the best decision, we look at the percent infestation of white flies. Looking at adults only, you have a threshold of 40 to 57 percent, where you need to possibly consider a spray. Above the 60 percent infestation with adults, a spray is required, regardless of natural enemies in your field. Let's look at what is going on in the plots treated with a broad spectrum and those that are not disrupted at all. At the beginning of the season, white fly adult levels were low in both of our plot treatments, but we used acephate to chemically exclude predators from the broad spectrums all season long. Acephate alone will not kill white flies, but it will kill most of the natural enemies. When the natural enemies die, you lose ground in the natural control of the white fly population. With fewer natural enemies feeding on white flies, the more white flies you have. Whereas if you have enough natural enemies in your field, the fewer white flies you'll have. And if you do have to spray, your selective insecticides will work even better. Especially if successive applications of a broad spectrum are made, the beneficials will never recover and you'll end up in a situation where white flies are well above threshold much sooner in the season. What's worse? What it will make even more difficult for your chemical controls to work against the unconstrained Wi-Fi population.